Thanks for sticking with us on Blitz today as we welcome our next guest through, guest through the phone, White County Lady Warriors basketball coach Buster Brown. Uh, coach Brown, as always, we appreciate having you on Blitz. Well, thank you, Brian. I appreciate being on. Now, Coach, you're off to a pretty good start uh, to your season, uh, including in your region play. Did you expect anything less after last season's uh, you know, first state appearance for the Lady Warriors in 11 years? Well, we really didn't know what to expect. Um, we did lose three starters off that team, and, and um, so we had some replacements to make. Um, fortunately for us, uh, our kids have you know, kind of bought in, and uh, we're in the third year of, of trying to, to get our system in place, and um, it's beginning to come around. So we're, we're looking forward to the rest of the year, that's for sure. Now, Paige Thomas is one of your standout players. She's a junior and, and has been one of the biggest reasons for the success of the Lady Warriors. What can you say about the type of player she is and, and how pivotal she is to this team? Paige is, is, um, is critical to us, uh, and, and not just offensively. She's, um, she's one of the better defenders, I believe, in the region. Um, she, she always leads us in deflections. Uh, we typically have her guarding other team's best scorer. Um, Caitlin Gearing is the one who puts the pressure on the ball, of course, most of the time. But but uh, Paige is the one who who really um, causes havoc with the other team when they try to pass it inside or out on the wing. And uh, so you know, it's not just offensively where she plays every position for us, but defensively as well. Yeah. Now, as we mentioned already, you're off to that you know five and zero start and one and zero in region play, and and you've got five seniors on this team uh, coming off, as we said, the state playoff trip from last year. Is there a general consensus the fact that you have those five seniors that this is a a win now mentality uh, while everything's kind of lined up for you? I don't know that we have that necessarily. Um, you know, we're just like everybody else. We tend to. To just focus on one game at a time and not really worry about, um, you know, what's beyond that or what, what's already happened. Uh, for example, you know, we have Dawson County tomorrow night uh, here at home, uh, our second region game. It's a big region game. Dawson is very good again. And um, we're really just trying to focus on that next game. Now your, uh, your offense is, is scoring um, 58.2 points per game. Defensively, you're holding your opponents to 32.6, so your average margin of victory right now is 25 points. And obviously, you know, your girls have definitely bought into the program and, and what you're coaching there. And uh, what, what's the secret to having such a stingy defense and, and also the offense that can pile on the points? Well, you know, in the, the past couple of years here, we, we really haven't had the outside scoring that we uh, would like to have had. And um, so we've really had to try to focus on defense a lot. I think if you if you want to classify me, uh, I really I really consider myself more of a defensive coach. But this year we have we have a ability to score outside that we haven't had in the past. And uh, our defense has, has really improved. We we were really considered that that as the season started that we were we were hoping our kids would really take greater pride in their defense and so far has happened. We really didn't expect to have that kind of scoring margin over our opponents at this point, uh, but we'll certainly take it. Now, last question for you, Coach, and then I'll let you go, but um, what what do you feel, um, you know, last season did for your team in terms of, you know, making the state playoffs for the first time in 11 years and kind of rejuvenating that program as that's what you came on board to do, and, uh, you know, what did, what did that do kind of for the confidence of that program? Well, it's, without a doubt, it's, um, the fact that our, that our seniors, especially last year, decided that they just weren't going to be a part of losing anymore. Uh, you know, I think we as coaches many times, you know, the coaches get hired to, quote, turn things around. But most of the time, Brian, it comes down to a, a class of kids or maybe one or two that just decide, you know, they've had enough. Right. They want to do what whatever it takes to be successful. And, and last year, uh, those kids decided that happened. And, and we're just a different program right now because of that. We, you know, we're we're expecting to do well. We're we, we want to go back to the state tournament. We want to make that a yearly thing. And um, and so far, we're we're getting it done this year. Well, Coach Brown, thanks again for your time today. Uh, look forward to seeing what what this season has in store for your team. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Coach.
When we come back, some solid highlights as well as our player of the week. 